Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 7 tablet, which has been updated to run Android 4.2 Jelly Bean software, and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of some of the new features in, in Android 4.2. First thing you'll notice here is right on the lock screen, we've got support for home screen widgets. There's a new digital clock widget, but you can also add Gmail, Calendar, or Sound Search here. So we can just add a calendar widget, and then it'll show up. Or we can add another digital clock if we wanted to do that. And we can make these widgets disappear the same way you would um, sort of a regular home screen widget. Uh, once we get to the home screen, you'll notice another change here is in the notification area. You swipe down from the left to get notification, and from the right gives you sort of this quick settings area. It's more noticeable in landscape orientation. So let's go ahead and rotate left side, right side. And if you were doing this on a 10-inch tablet, it would be even more pronounced that uh, sort of coming from the middle doesn't do as much. So from here, we can access brightness controls, uh, turn wireless on and off, go to our battery settings, and so forth. Or we can just go right into the full settings. And I'm going to do that to show you a couple more features here. In order to clear application cache, it used to be that you would either have to run a third-party application like Cache Cleaner here, or go into your individual app and click a Clear Cache button. But now there's an option to go into the storage area and click Cached Data and clear all of your app cache data at once. Uh, right now I don't have too much because I cleared it recently, but uh, the first time I did that today I had over 300 megabytes of free space that I was able to, uh, or of disk space that I was able to clear up by clearing all of my cache data at once. So that's a kind of nice feature. Um, I've got developer options enabled here down at the bottom of the screen. That's what you would use to enable USB debugging and connect to a computer for uh, ADB, Android Debug Bridge. Basically, if uh, most users aren't probably going to need to use these at all, but if you're a developer or you want to be able to do some sort of development tricks, you're going to, want, uh, going to want to enable developer options. And in order to do that, you go into About Tablet and click this button a couple of times, the one that says Build Number. Um, I've already done that, so the menu's shown up here, but the first time you run Android 4.2, you won't see developer options at all. So in order to do that, you would go in here, click Build Number, double tap it once, and you would get a message that says uh, you're only four taps away from becoming a developer. Um, so you would have to click it basically five times, and then suddenly you would become a developer, meaning that you can access your developer options. Um, what else is new? There's a new Daydream feature which is sort of like a screensaver and lets you do a couple of things. You can uh, enable a digital clock. We can enable sort of a color kind of screensaver here or photos or data from Google Currents and so forth. So that's kind of a nifty new feature. And I guess the other big change here from Android 4.1 is an improved keyboard, which I will show you firing up a web browser just so I can get a text box here. So the keyboard doesn't look too different at first glance. You can type Lilliputing the way that you normally would and, you know, load a web page. But you can also swipe your finger across from screen to screen, uh, from key to key. So this is sort of like the swipe keyboard. This is sort of well, it didn't quite work. But the idea being that it'll predict what letters you're trying to, uh, or what words you're trying to form based on where your fingers go. And it can be faster, especially on a phone, than trying to enter uh, using two thumbs or whatever. So that's kind of a neat feature, and overall text prediction has been improved. So that's a quick overview of some of the new features in Android 4.2, as well as uh, some of the nifty tricks, uh, like cleaning all of your cache or enabling, enabling developer options. You can find more details about Android 4.2 and tablets and lots of things at uh, lilliputing.com. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the Nexus 7 running Android 4.2 Jellybean.